We're following more breaking news this morning. One person is seriously injured following a crash in central El Paso. This happened near Gateway West in Geronimo at 429 AM. And here's a live look at that area via our TxDOT traffic cameras. As you can see, all the police activity that's still on there as I-10 westbound is closed at Geronimo. Now, according to emergency dispatch officials, one person was transported to the hospital with serious injuries. Now, of course, we'll be sure to update you both on air and online with the latest. Also, as soon as I-10 westbound reopens. Now, let's talk about your forecast. The ABC 7 Storm Track meteorologist Katie Frazier. I know you were at that concert last night, Katie. I sure was, and it was a blast. Definitely a fun time. I was up a little bit later, though, so didn't get a whole lot of sleep. <laughs> but regardless, I'm so happy to be here, and good morning to you all. Now, we all know it's been a hot year across the borderland, and we have seen 58 triple digits in El Paso so far, just a couple away from first place. Now, it looks like we'll likely see another 100 degree day today, possibly even tomorrow. So that'll get us likely another two. But what can we expect for the week ahead? We are going to be seeing temperatures cooling down over the next several days. And one day this week, actually two, we'll see temperatures in the low 90s. So something definitely to look forward to. But we'll also have winds and rain chances return as well. So I'll talk about those things and when you can expect them coming up. All right, thank you, Katie. Well, it was a big night for music fans across the borderland. The Sun Bowl hosted a major concert for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic canceled massive gatherings and three legendary rock bands took the stage at the Sun Bowl. Now, Motley Crue, Def Leppard and Alice Cooper all performed last night at the Sun Bowl and fans of all ages packed the stand and some even traveled a pretty great distance just to be here. Now, take a listen to these fans. We're from Boise, Idaho. And what made you choose El Paso to sugar to for this location? <laughs> um, it just seemed like the best place as we were looking up concert locations and dates. This is just the one that, I mean, it really seemed like a fun place to visit. We'd never been here before, so just a new place to explore and uh, a new town to visit and see what it's all about. And those Sun Bowl seats won't have time to cool off. Another big concert is headed to the Sun Bowl in just a matter of days. Mexican band RBD is kicking off their Soy Revelete tour here in El Paso next Friday. Well, now to the latest on those fires in Hawaii. Questions remain this morning on the island of Maui, but the warning signs not being activated during the deadly wildfires. This is emergency management chief steps down. Maui County officials say more than 100 people have died so far. ABC's Melissa Adan has more from Waluku. Criticism growing about Maui's siren warning 